Okay, so this video is about me being, the hood being stuck. Uh, I did take off the um, interior trim and pulled the um, wire with the vice grip. That did nothing. It's like nothing catched. So I think I know what's wrong with it. Uh, I Luckily, my grill has got an area here I can get my hand in, but um, so the mechanism right here is held in the kind of the cover is held in with four, um, rivets. I used a Dremel to kind of grind down one that was right here. And I just kind of used a hammer and a screwdriver and kind of just sheared those off through the grill. See where I got a little too aggressive right here. I was able to peel it back and then you can't see but I'm gonna take this off and the wire had come undone from up here so there's nothing wrong with the wire it just came undone not sure but let's take this apart and uh see what we see so after I saw the wire uh the little mechanism that the wire uh, connects to I was able to uh, move it to the left um with the screwdriver and could feel the latch move and able to open it up. All right, so I got the little plate cover off, just some 10 millimeter bolts. So it looks like this whole piece is the same. I didn't know there's gonna be two separate pieces. Might be, um, but I need to drill out this one. So if you notice I did a little damage here, but I think if you get the the three uh, three rivets out, you can kind of bend it back and manipulate it through the grill. So this is my culprit. The, uh, the loop just came off of this. What I don't know, is this broken or is it supposed to be like that? Um, I'll probably get a new one whenever the uh, next D2 comes in the uh, salvage yard. I don't even know if you can buy these brand new. But I think what I'm gonna do for now, I'll just install it like this. I'll put the cover over it, but I won't put the bottom cover. So if I get locked out again, all I need to do is just put a little screwdriver and bump this arm. And this is the arm you need to bump um, over. And um, so you just bump it this way you know towards this way if the if the wire comes off and uh you can get back in um we'll see well i think it's broken because i just tried it for the first time and the thing came off again so obviously it's broken so i as long as i don't put the hood back in i can use a screwdriver and notch that i'm gonna see if i can put the hood in i mean the grill in and still you do it okay so i ordered a new latch just unbolted the other one so let's take a look so there's that one question is did that shear off placements Really? Well, the cable definitely is frayed, so it does need to be replaced. All right, I got a new cable put in. Not that hard. Got to take out the air box. So the uh, lower portion just pulls out. Um, let's test it out. All right, new cable to the trip. I don't know exactly what was wrong. I think this might have been bent a little bit. And then where the cable attaches right here, that was bent a little bit. And maybe it just wasn't getting just quite enough. Um, it was slack and so it was letting this off the hook. 
but as you can see i need to replace the cable anyway so no harm no foul i'll have to return that part but pay a little restocking fee but in the end not that big of a deal